Hello, and welcome to this advanced course on scoring in Cubase. In this course, we're going to look at some of the more advanced aspects of how Cubase handles scoring and how you can use some of its more specialized features to achieve great scoring results. Some of the more basic stuff we've already covered in the introductory course, things like understanding file formats, how to get your videos into Cubase and things like that. So please check that out if what you need is more of an introduction. So what is scoring? Well, essentially scoring is the process of creating music and soundtracks to go along with visuals. Of course, in the past, this meant getting big orchestras together. Now it's much more accessible to most people. It can take many forms and it's something that's become democratized by technology. Anyone with access to a decent computer and some instruments can create a great score for a film or TV advert or a computer game. We're going to start by looking at how you approach scoring and what some of the tools are. How you can use the tempo track to introduce speed changes to a score, for example, which is a common trick. And also things like how audio and MIDI parts respond to tempo and pitch changes in Cubase, and why these are important to you. Then we're going to look at some practical examples of different styles of scoring. We'll have a look at scoring a more up-tempo action style scene and how you can use orchestration, electronics, percussion and automation tools like that to create the kind of exciting scores you'll hear in Hollywood blockbusters. After that we'll look at a different kind of approach to scoring but one that's just as popular which is more atmospheric layered sonics instead of traditional orchestral music. That will be more of a sound design kind of approach. We'll look at how to use things like synths and samples in Cubase as well as all its other tools to create moods and atmospheres that suit your visuals. We'll also touch on surround sound and how that can help you to create great scores, as well as mixing and using effects to enhance your music. Finally, we'll turn to exporting your stuff out of Cubase and the various formats and export options open to you. This will include things like naming conventions, exporting stems, exporting stereo mixes, and supplying groups of tracks for a post producer to work with, as well as the various other considerations you have to think about when you're exporting your scores. So let's have a quick think next about what the aim of a score is.